I was gonna wait until day 21 to shoot this video when the male plant I have introduced into my female tent was gonna be actually removed from the tent. It's now day 19 and um, got two more days rocking out in there and I just figured I wanted to show you guys because last time I showed you guys I was able to bring every plant in and out but um, nah, I'll show you guys that. All right, so I actually had to turn this part into a voiceover, but this is one of mine. This is one of the fams I made in my last run I wanted to test out. It's a lemon grab cross to New World Order. And uh, let's see what else we got back here. A couple different things. Right in the front is TJ119. Um, everything in this round is being pollinated. It's going to be a male run. And we are making F1s. And after that, strictly running our own gear we're gonna take a pause on everything else i feel like we have uh, enough stuff to work with but this lovely lady right here firemen's firemen's from coco indoors this is a new world order male being crossed to everything in the room i uh, made a couple videos on the side you can check if you want to check out what the male's looking like and what the other selections look like in the front, we got Hawaiian Lion from B-Leaf, Nine Lions, and Trico Jordan in the back, standing tall. Uh, let me see if we could get to the top of the plant. Get a little closer for you guys. This is Trico Jordan in a three gallon. And this is the Lemon Straws. Another Lemon Straws from Sea Junkie across to Cushington. So we got Lemon Straws in there. Rocking out, looking fucking like it's going to be fat as fuck, pollinated or not. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we have in the middle. But I did want to get just a little close up. This is day 19. I didn't really want to film the video until day 21. So I relieved or released the mail from the tent. But... I don't know, I was feeling kind of eager to show you guys what we got going on, what day 19 is looking like or looking for, what you're looking for at day 19, possibly, hopefully a little bit better. But um, usually when uh, females in this cycle have been pollinated or getting pollinated, they usually slow down. All those pistols you will see in the next video shriveled and should have like a, a little red tips on them. And that'll basically confirm that they've been pollinated. And they're still going to start to produce. They'll produce more hairs after that. But the hairs that did get hit with the pollen will eventually produce seeds. Yeah. Check them out. Check them out. So, brother, seeds. I figured this would be the best bet for me to post a voiceover. Kind of explain to you guys what's going on here. Um, show you guys a little bit of the girlies, a little bit of the tall ones. Um, yeah, I'm loving this round, to be honest. Everything's looking pretty, pretty good. I got a bunch of clones. So this side of the tent is my clones um, that I kept from last round. If you did enjoy anything from last round, I'm actually going to, for the first time, show you guys everything to the bare end, to the freaking breakdown in the blunt. So we drying together there, we curing together, everything. Just so I could show, um, I personally couldn't find any videos on how to dry, cure, harvest a plant that has been seeded. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do fucking 60 of them. <laughs> right here in the front of this is the Firemen's from Coco Indoors, if you're wondering. Trop Cherry back there as well, and Obsidian Dream from Copycat. All these three have been um, chosen selection cuts from Coco and Doris. Um, brought over to me so we can start this project originally. That's the only reason why we're doing this. But check it out. Some of the girls. This little uh, boomerang looking girl right here with the uh, wild, wide branches is Hawaiian Lion. Let's go.